Hi guys! Today we're going to build the odometry module and configure it. The odometry module will allow us to count how many times the wheels rotate. From this we will be able to measure the distance traveled and speed of Mipper. We can also use this data to detect if the robot is stuck, and to ensure that both wheels are rotating at the same speed. In later tutorials we will use the odometry to create a kinematic model allowing Mipper to understand its surroundings in a more detailed way. Wheel rotation will be measured using a TCRT 5000 sensor one for each wheel. The sensor will send out infrared light and measure how much infrared light is reflected back to the sensor. Our wheel is black with 8 holes in it. We will cover the holes with white stickers. When the sensor is over the back part of the wheel no infrared will be reflected however when the sensor is over holes that have been covered with white stickers more infrared will be reflected. This will give us a frequency modulated pulse strain where the frequency of the pulse strain will be the rotational speed of the wheels. Once we have made the odometry module we will make the battery board on the same perf board. We're making the odometry module first as it is trickier than the battery module and you must ensure that the odometry module works before constructing the battery board. To work, we will place the components first starting with the TCRT 5000 sensors. I have bent the pins by 90 degrees take note of their orientation and ensure that you know which diode is the infrared sensor and which diode is the detector. More information can be found at leap.uk. I have mounted the sensors aligned with the edge of the perf board for reasons so it looks neater. I'm carrying out a diode test here to ensure that the diodes are working and that I have mounted them the correct way. I will add the resistors next. A 100 ohm current limiting resistor ensuring that no more than 50 milliamps will be supplied to the infrared diode. If we gave the diode more current it will burn out. Next I will add a 10 kilo ohm resistor to the input of the infrared sensor. The value of this resistor determines how sensitive the sensor is. If we use a small value resistor such as a 2 kilo ohm resistor the sensor will be less sensitive because the supplied current will be greater. I am now adding the inter board connector. This will be used to connect this board to the other half of the battery board. We will use this connector when we're setting the odometry module up in the next video. I've put this connector 8 rows from the back of the perf board ensuring that there will be enough room for the battery when we build the battery board. Now everything is added to the board it's just a matter of connecting everything up in accordance with the diagram. I'm still using enamel copper wire so I can cross wires without creating short circuits. While the interconnections are being done, I will show you what the wheels will look like with the stickers on. These are the wheels as you can see the inside of the sticker is white giving us a lot of reflected infrared. The black part of the wheel will give us no reflected infrared. The change in reflected infrared is what we will measure to calculate wheel rotation. Now, back to the video.
I'm using a digital multimeter to test the TCRT 5000 sensors. I've connected 5 volts in ground from MIPR to the odometry module and connected the positive meter probe to the sensor output pin and the ground probe to the ground. When the sensor is moved closer to an object the voltage on the meter will drop. When the sensor is moved further away from an object the voltage will increase. Minimum voltage indicates that we are getting a lot of infrared reflected which means that an object is close. When we get maximum voltage, it indicates that an object is far away. In our scenario low voltage indicates a wheel hole and high voltage indicates the black part of the wheel. Now we have tested this sensor board and we're happy that it works we need to add the stickers to the wheels so we get reflected infrared when the wheels are rotated.